Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Surprise Thursday. I, as always, am your host, the Digital Caveman, and today I will be presenting you with the Dragon Ball Super Dragon Star series, Gogeta from Dragon Ball Super. Thank you for watching this video or any of my other videos that you may have run across, which I hope is all of them. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, or just help the channel out further, or both, that's even better. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. And with all that said, let's get into it. To start things off as we normally do here on Digital Caveman Presents, let's take a look at the packaging. Which, if you've seen any of my other Dragon Stars reviews, you will not be surprised at anything on this packaging. Four and up, Bandai. Assortment numbers. Warning, don't stick things in your pie hole. Advertisement, don't stick things in your French pie hole. Then on the top, Dragon Star series and that nice chrome. And then we have that glossy energy bolt lightning stuff. On the front, Dragon Ball Super. Nice window showcasing the figure and some extra hands. A nice chrome border around the window. And it goes all the way around, even on the side there. Dragon Star Series, Gogeta, Dragon Ball Super version. On the bottom, Dragon Ball Super and some more of that glossy black lightning. On this side, Dragon Ball Super and nice artwork of Gogeta. And on this side, Dragon Ball Super, sliver of a window, some more of that chrome border, Gogeta, Dragon Ball Super version. And on the back, no cross sale because he kicked everybody's butt. And but at the top, Dragon Ball Super, learn more at Bandai.com slash Dragon Stars. Dragon Star series in that nice chrome. A nice product shot of Gogeta, Dragon Ball Super version. Nice chrome. And that chrome really, to me, and this is no surprise to anybody who's watched uh, my Dragon Ball reviews before, but, you know, that's the, the chrome and the glossy black, it really gives a more premium feel to the packaging. Uh, anyway, here's some small print, fine print, legalese print, all right there, toy animation print, Bandai print, Funimation print, and a barcode. And that, my friends, completes our look at the packaging. Let's take a look at the figure and his accessories. And handy dandy tweezers here. And here we have the first of his set of alternate hands, which are the clawing, grasping, blasting, cousin it hands, whatever you want to call them. And you can see it does have a little bit of a paint up there around the wrist. And here's the other one. So again, nothing new for this series and that's fine. It's appropriate hands. Let's take a look at the figure. Nice black hair and good face sculpt. A uh, little bit of shading paint on the chest, similar to Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. And then also a little bit of paint there on the arms for some highlights. Uh, paint here on the wrist then uh, I think this vest is molded in this color and then this is painted on top of it as you can see from some of the slop and then this piece is all molded in color the belt uh, the below the waist the legs and stuff that's all molded in color uh, these are same piece here so this is a paint app here 
And then I don't think they molded it in the shoes or boots, whatever, in this color. Uh, I do believe that is a paint out. And then something on the bottom here as well. Now let's take a look at the articulation. He doesn't really look up any because of his hair on the back of his neck. He looks down about that far, which is eh, it's not much. He's got a little bit of chicken neck. He's got a little bit of waggle. And there's a dumbbell joint uh, in the neck and the head. And then what I think is a ball joint uh, where the neck and the torso meet because they are uh, it's all three separate pieces there uh, he will do the full exorcist at the shoulders we'll do a full 360 degrees all the way around go up pretty well past 90 degrees and it's got a little bit of butterfly in there It'll go back that far, or that far, and a little bit of drop down too, but not much. This uh, best piece kind of gets in the way just a little bit. There uh, at the upper bicep, a cut for another 360 degrees of rotation. Double hinged pinned elbow, which gives you that much range of motion. And at the wrist, 360 degree rotation and then it's on an up and down hinge but you can you know you can work that around a little bit make it a side to side hinge or whatever and you can adjust the hands it takes a little bit of effort on some of these but you can get it uh, he can crunch back that far he can crunch forward just a little bit. This belt kind of gets in the way of the forward crunch because it's on a ball joint or a dumbbell uh, in there. But he does get a full 360 degrees of rotation at the waist. For the legs, they are on a drop down hinge. And you drop them down. And he will give you that much of the splits. With his legs swinging out a little bit, because you see how it's shaped there in the crotch, uh, he will kick up that high and back that far. Double hinged pinned knee, which gives you about a 90 degree bend because of his big billowing pants. And then at the ankles, they can all the way around. Uh, they go down that far. They go up that far. And there is a pin in there, but it's not really forward-facing that much. So you can you can get a little bit out of, of rocker out of it, but not tons. It's kind of it kind of points down. See more than forward. That just snaps right back in there. All right, my friends, that does it for a look at the figure and his accessories. It's time for my favorite part of a review, the comparisons. And let's start things off with Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. And here they are, as you can see, they are the exact same mold. Exactly. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta might have a little bit more uh, of the chest shading, I think. And then the blue hair, but other than that, Exactly the same, guys. Well, Blue's vest might be a shade lighter. Yeah, looks like it is. 
So there we go. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Gogeta. And Gogeta. And let's look at his individual parts. And here is Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And this is on the version 2 body. And here is Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. And again, this is on the version 2 body. And let's just compare him up to some villains. Here he is with Perfect Cell. And here he is with Final Form Cooler. If I can get him to stand up. And that, my friends, almost completes comparisons. We need to see how he compares up with other lines, don't we? Of course we do, because everybody wants to know that. And making his cameo appearance, here we have Stan the Man Lee from the Marvel Legends series. From Star Wars The Black Series, here we have the Archive Wave, or Archive Edition, 501st Legion Clone Trooper. From G.I. Joe Classified Series, here we have the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Regal variant Cobra Commander. And for some 7 inch goodness from McFarlane Toys, here we have the DC Multiverse Dark Knight Returns Superman. That's quite a bit of difference there. Now that, my friends, completes the comparisons. For final thoughts on Bandai's Dragon Ball Super Dragon Star series, Gogeta, I think this is a pretty solid figure. Uh, didn't have any problems with him breaking apart as I was posing him or anything like that. Like some of the other in the in the Dragon Ball series, uh, Dragon Star series, are apt to do at times. Um, you know, if you're looking for the ultimate version of this character, just, you know, the Super Saiyan Blue, you got the Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, you know, that's about as, as strong as he gets, at least so far. Um, but, you know, I do kind of like to have the, the un-Super Saiyan forms of the dudes, too. And overall, I like this figure. You know, he suffers you know, from a little bit of articulation issues due to the sculpt, but you know, I think this figure is a good balance between sculpt and articulation. And I think the the ball wrists are even uh, you know, they're getting better at not being so obvious on a lot of these figures. There's still a few figures that are a little, you know, super obvious on it. And it's not that these aren't, you know, not visible. They're just not as noticeable as on some of the other figures. Well, my friends, that does it for the review. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews or just to help the channel out further, or both, that's even more awesomer. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you'll be notified as my new content becomes available. That's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.